The Menendez brothers will be free before I am. Well, Menendez brothers got home on time. <laughs> Look, big guy. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> we just wanted to see what was in your will. I knew it. We never should have let you play with those Menendez boys. <laughs> I'd say she was pretty confident. Sure, she's confident. Tomorrow she plans on breaking the jury's hearts. Sympathy alone doesn't get you an acquittal. Sure as hell hangs the jury. Look at those boys out in L.A. This isn't the Menendez brothers, Adam. There's no doubt in this case that the victims were innocent. That's right. Only here we have the abusers in the flesh. Tell us all about what monsters they were. And I know you hate me, but I need you to be civil, at least through dinner, and then on the way home you can pull a Menendez. Deal? Fine. Most serial killers work alone. Yeah, most. Wouldn't be the first time a killer worked with a partner and you got the Cook brothers, Eric and Lyle Menendez. Menendez brothers went to private school and look what happened to them. Who are they? Doesn't matter. The important thing is... They didn't get away with it. It's friggin' Shapiro. He screwed all of us. God forbid a celebrity should do a perp walk. It's always the big cases that melt down. McMartin, Twilight Zone, Menendez. Why is it always the famous ones? I have made similar arrangements with the LAPD, with the district attorney's office, and Mr. Garcetti. They have always kept their word to me, and I have always kept my word to them. In fact, I arranged the surrender of Eric Menendez from Israel. What up? God knows how much of our family business he is. If the place is bugged, that stuff's not admissible. It's that, uh, that, that, that doctor-patient privilege, just like us in Melvoin. Melvoin's a lawyer. He's in a fucking ballpark. Suppose this shrink gets scared or something. Do you remember those two fucking Escobedo brothers who over to fucking California, they whacked their parents? The shrink was in a fucking witness chair. Shit. This is a thing they call karma. I'm sure you heard about it. You live a shitty life, usually before it's over, bad karma comes back and bites you in the balls. You act like an asshole, maybe you get cancer of the ass. You treat your kids like shit, maybe they pull a Menendez and blow your brains out that goddamn couch while you're taking a nap. So, I got you some more tattoo concealer. Oh, thank you. I just ran out. I was so young when I got this. Who even remembers 2007? Well, sunny day today, and we can expect much more of the same over the next few days. You might... Authorities came to believe that the Menendez brothers acted out of pure greed. The only thing standing between them and tremendous wealth was... What? Say it! Their father, Jose Menendez. My kids are going to kill me! <laughs> Daddy's home. Don't Menendez me. We made the hockey team. Why did you get this? To use as a decoy. So my greedy children will murder it and I'll be able to escape on Menendez. This is insanity. Or is it? The parallels between the Jordans and the Menendez are uncanny. Both families are rich. Both families have two sons, and both families are staples of court TV. Nice, I like Jason Patrick. You know, when he was doing Rush, he stuck real needles in his arm to prep. That's what inspired me to do real coke when I did the Menendez Brothers movie. Weren't you an extra on that? <laughs> so, still kept it real like JP does. Ouch. Well, let's get that boy some guidance before he turns into a full-blown Menendez brother. I'll go at once. So do it over. Oh, sure. I'll just jump in my time machine. Hey, maybe while I'm back there, I'll give the Menendez parents a heads up. I, I, I'm more than just a grandma to her. I'm, we are friends and hang out. Hang out? You know who hung out with their parents? The Menendez brothers. Well. I'm not a fan of the murders, <laughs> but a big fan of the sweaters.